so hello everyone welcome to this video hope you are well and today we are going to make this button as you can see that uh, here you can see that let's assume that that's our website our web page and if you can see that we have this button in our this right bottom corner and if i click this button we are back in the top of our website so that's the button that we are going to make in this video however you will click the button you will go back to the top of your website so this will be helpful whenever you will have a large page or large blogging section so whenever the user will actually read the blog or read the web page and they scroll down and you don't want to have your user scroll all to the top you can give this button and the user can click that and the user will be in the top of your website quickly i'll show you two different way to make this button and i hope this will be interesting so before we start the video i want to mention that if you want to follow us on our instagram you can do that the handle is instagram.com slash web underscore cipher so if you follow us you will get some interesting tips and tricks about web design and development maybe that will be helpful for you and also if you face any kind of problem with this tutorial you can join our community group the link will be in the description we have a great number of community members and which is growing day by day so join the group the link will be description all the link will be in the description so with that saying let's roll the intro So as you can see here, here is my HTML and here is my CSS file. So first of all, in our HTML file, let's get a boilerplate with exclamation sign. And let's increase the font size here. So inside of this body, we will have some section. So let's create that. So section also will have an ID. So sec1 for our section1. And let's duplicate it. So we will have almost four, four section. And if I save, and after that, uh, let's actually link the CSS file and let's style the sections so here first of all let's remove all the unexpected gap so padding zero and margin zero and also let's say that box sizing will be the border box and after that uh, for our each of section let's say that the height will be 100 vh and the width will be 100 percent and also let's have a background color of royal blue and after that if i hit refresh i should see my section so as you can see that we have the section but all the section have a background color of royal blue so we can't see them differently so let's actually give them some individual background color so section one Uh, not one one will have a royal blue which is default our background color and section two will have a background color of black and similarly for our section three and section four we will have background color of yellow and for our last one means section number four we will have a background color of crimson and if i save that now as you can see that we have now different colors for our each of section as you can see so let's assume that these are the sections for our web page and i need a button for our scroll to chop so to make the button let's come to our html and here inside of our body let's get a div with a class of scroll top so this will be our button and if i save that and after that let's come to our style.css and style this scroll top button so here let's select the scroll top button scroll top div actually so this is the div that we are selecting and here let's say that the height will be something like 60 vh sorry 60 pixel and also the width will be about 60 pixel so as you can see that the height and width are the same means it will be kind of a rectangle size and not rectangle it will be a square i mean so after that uh, background color of white and if i save that now you can see that uh, we don't see it separately let's give it uh, something like red color now you can see that this is the div which will be our as call top button and after that let's say that uh, the position will be absolute now you can see that it is now positioning absolute 
if you notice that the parent of this div is the body so it's actually having the position absolute with this body so we just can position it with let's say that not in the top we will position it in the bottom 10 pixel and also in the right side 10 pixel so now you can see that it's here perfect and after that uh, let's actually increase the size for now so that we can design it and later we will actually decrease the size now you can see that here is our button and the height and width is uh, 100 pixel and after that let's also say that the cursor will be the pointer and also let's have some border radius here about 6 pixel and finally let's have a box shadow which will be the 0 pixel 0 pixel 10 pixel and we'll have a color of black so let's actually copy the color and now you consider we have a subtle box shadow here and after that uh, let's actually change the color and make it white now you can see that that's our this scroll top button and now let's actually have an icon inside this button so for that let's go to the hero icons heroicons.com and here let's actually search for up and you can see that uh, there are some different icons and i will actually use this one so let's copy the svg and come here in our html and inside my scroll top button let's actually paste the svg now you can see that that's the svg and i should see a icon inside my scroll top div now you can see after that let's actually style this svg and it's in my scroll top and the width for this one will be 50 percent and also the color will be the black and pointer event will be none and if i save now you can see that that's the svg the width is now 50 percent that's why it is actually uh, in the top left corner and to make it center of our this scroll top div what we can do we just can say that display will be flex and align items center and justify content center and as you can see that now it is in perfectly center so now you can see the icon is looking good and the button is also looking good now it's for some hover effect so let's actually give the hover effect to this scroll top div so let's say that whenever we'll hover the scroll top div we will actually transform scale to one and for the initial state we will actually make it a little bit smaller so here for our initial or default transform will be scale 0.9 a little bit smaller however we will hover it will grow a little bit big so now you can see and uh, the default will be 0.9 scale and whenever we will hover the scale will be one so if i hover now you can see that uh, it's actually working but the problem is it's actually happening so quickly so let's create some transition here so let's say that 0.3 second is in out and only for transform and if i save now you can see that it's actually happening so smoothly and it's looking good and that's it for the button and everything is okay let's actually decrease the size of this height and width so 60 pixel and 60 pixel i believe it's okay for a scroll to top button now you can see that in the bottom corner we have this button which is looking perfectly fine but the problem is as you can see that it's actually not fixed so to make it a fixed position what i need to do i need to go to the scroll top div and here you can see that the position is absolute instead of absolute let's actually use fixed so if i save here and now you can see that it's now fixed in the bottom right corner and it's looking perfectly fine so now let's actually make it functional uh, right now you can see that if i click it is not working so to make it functional we can do it in two ways i will show you the both ways so let's actually go to our index.html first of all what we can do actually we can make this div a 
anchor tag so now you can see that, uh, that this is the div instead of div i will use anchor tag now you can see that the opening one is the anchor tag and this is the closing anchor, anchor tag and now we can use a href and here we can link it with the top section so this is the top section and the section id is sec1 so link it with that and if i save and if i now scroll down and click my button now you can see that it's actually working now we are having this as called the top button but the problem is it is actually happening too quickly we don't have any kind of a smooth scroll here so to make it smooth what we can do in our style.css we can go to our html and say that smooth or a scroll behavior i think yeah a scroll behavior will be the smooth and now let's actually scroll down and let's actually click the button here and let's see it's working yeah as you can see that it's working perfectly fine so as you can see that the scroll to top button is working perfectly fine as we expected so as you can see that uh, with this anchor tag as you can see here we can actually link it and it will work perfectly so this is the first way and we also have another way to make it functional so for that let's actually remove the href and we don't need a anchor tag instead of that we will actually go back with our regular div now you can see that this is a regular div and now what we need to do we need to create a javascript file i already have a javascript file here and let's actually select this div a scroll top so constant uh, scroll top button is equals to document dot query selector and we will select that with the class which is a scroll top so scroll top so we selected the button and after that we will add an event listener to this button so a scroll top button dot add event listener and the event is click so whenever we will click we will run the function here so inside the function we will say that we will scroll so window dot scroll to and higher we will scroll so we will scroll to top zero means x0 y0 so for that i need to give the coordinate here so first one will be zero and for the y it will be also zero so save it and let's actually see it is working or not so let's scroll down and if i click this button uh, it is not working so let's actually see uh, because we actually did not add this javascript file with this html file so let's actually link it or add it here script and here source will be main.js and if i save it should work now you can see that it is working now you know the both way how you can do that so i will prefer the javascript way because you can see that for the javascript we don't need a anchor tag or the id so whatever the content will be we don't need to worry about that it will work in any page but if you use the anchor tag you need to make sure about the section which is the first section and what is the id of the first section and you need to link it with the anchor tag so now you know the both ways to make this a scroll to top button and i hope you like that and i hope this will be helpful for you so that's it guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family also if you want to watch more video like this one please subscribe the channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever i will upload my next video so my name is Arfan, and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye Kodafis.